Hi, this is Justin Ball, the owner of Hammerhead Showers, the leader in solid metal shower heads and accessories. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace this old shower head with our solid metal handheld shower head set. It's very easy and you can do it in less than 10 minutes. Let's show you how. The same with any shower head replacement. You'll start by removing the old shower head. So depending on how long the shower head's been on there, you may be able to remove it by hand or if need be, you can use an adjustable wrench. Simply unthread the shower head, turning it in a clockwise, counterclockwise motion. Once you have removed the old shower head, it's important to clean the threads of the shower arm. You want to remove any debris, any old Teflon tape, and inspect it to make sure that it's not corroded and that the threads are still in good shape. If the threads are damaged, then you may want to consider replacing the shower arm pipe. I like to use a microfiber cloth to clean the shower arm threads. It just picks up a lot of the grit and helps to remove the Teflon tape. So just give it a good wipe down. Now that you've cleaned your shower arm, it's time to apply new Teflon tape to provide a leak-free seal when installing your shower head. So just make sure that when you're applying the Teflon tape, you go in the same direction as you would when you attach your shower head. So in a clockwise motion, that way the Teflon tape doesn't unravel when you attach your shower head. Starting at the bottom, You'll work your way up the threads, giving it about four to five turns. And just tearing it away and smoothing out the Teflon tape. With the new Teflon tape applied, we'll start by installing the shower head holder. You have your shower head holder, solid brass, and it has a rubber washer pre-installed in here to ensure that it's leak free. So you have your Teflon tape and your rubber washer. Again, this will just be uh, tightened on by hand in a clockwise motion. Now that you've tightened down the shower holder all the way by hand, you can tighten it down even more using an adjustable wrench or a pair of pliers, but please use a cloth to wrap around the fitting so you don't damage the finish. With the shower holder installed, we'll take the shower hose and attach it to the threads on the bottom of the shower holder. So please ensure that you're using the hex nut side of the hose to attach to the bottom of the shower holder and not the oval nut. You will have received two shower hose washers with your handheld shower head set. So put your shower hose washer in the hex nut side and we will hand tighten this onto the bottom of the shower holder. Now with the shower hose hand tightened to the shower holder, you can use an adjustable wrench to tighten it down more, but use the cloth again to protect the finish. The last step in the installation process is attaching the shower head to the shower hose. First, place the rubber washer inside of the threaded connection. 
and then thread the shower hose onto the bottom of the handheld shower head. Tighten it all the way down by hand and then dock it. Now that you have your new solid metal handheld shower head set installed, it's time to check for leaks. So let's run some water through it and test it out. So there are three areas you wanna to check to see if there are any leaks. One is the shower holder connection that attaches to the shower arm. Not seeing any leaks there. Two, the shower hose connection to the shower holder. Not seeing any leaks there. And then three, the shower hose connection to the shower head. And I do not see any leaks there. Should you see any leaks at all, you can either tighten down the fitting further with an adjustable wrench or pliers protecting the finish with a cloth. Or if that's not working, you may want to uninstall the shower head component, apply more Teflon tape, and then reinstall and test again. Thank you for checking us out at Hammerhead Showers. We hope you enjoy your new solid metal handheld shower headset.